What's happening, roadies? If you have any eye gunk in your eye, clean your eye right now. If you don't have any eye gunk in your eye, please watch me play this video game. I was scared silly on the uh, last episode of SpongeBob and the Cosmic Shake. We found this secret cave. I don't even know if we were supposed to. You do care. I don't even know if we were supposed to. My God, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I am such an idiot. So we aren't even supposed to go to that cave, everybody. That's like a just a bonus. What we're supposed to do is rescue all of the anchovies. But I saw an opportunity. I saw a need. I filled a need. And that need is to go into that damn cave. So we are going to go into the damn cave. We're going to go back into the... Am I going the wrong way now? Ooh, more jelly. And we went the wrong way, everybody. I love my brain. I want to pierce my brain. Do, do. I want to pierce my brain. Do, do. And the game is lagging again. It's lagging again. I want to pierce my Ray Romano. <laughs> Honestly, though, a game like this feels like it's right at home on the Switch. It feels weird to play a game like this on, like, the PS4 or the Xbox first. I, I, and it's, I personally believe... I, I just feel that it's better on a Nintendo console. I don't know why. Because I played Hat in Time. First time I played a Hat in Time was on Steam. And that's definitely... That's definitely not... God... Dimma dang it. So it's the X button for kick and the right trigger to swing. Gee, Patrick, if you were a lamp, I'd and look! Glowing <laughs> I got a doubloon finally! Yes! Nice. That was awesome. Hey, Big Joe. What are you doing, Big Joe? Oh, crap. I'm dead. Blech, so slimy. Big Joe slapped me into oblivion. And Skyrim. Okay, but we did collect that doubloon, I think, because it's still up in the upper corner. So we're just going to call that as a victory. Oh god. He's not affected by explosions? Are you kidding me? Why isn't Big Joe affected by explosions? He took a big hit, and then he took a nap. There's also a, a Shooter Joe. I don't know where Shooter Joe is, but he's pissed. Come on, Big Joe. Big Joe down. Okay, how are you guys liking the enemy types in this one? Also, comment question of the day. What video game are you looking forward to in this year? Like, the most. What video game are you looking to most of 2023? And should I play it? And please sell me on this game. Tell me, Nate, seriously, dude. Play this game. You will love it. You will cry. You will laugh. You will squee. You will XD. I'm tempted to get Atomic Heart. That came out uh, as of this recording session just a couple of days ago. Okay. What the hell was that? Oh, he team rocketed. Team Rocket's blasting off again. These guys need to shut the hell up. Shut your meatballs. Where are the where are the baddies? Where's the where's the, oh there you are. There you are. That does not help me at all. Nice. Okay, the cute bunny character is just butt bomb. That's okay. 
And then the next anchovy is all the heck of the way over here. So we're gonna go all the heck of the way over here. But I lied! Secret area, secret door, exploration squad. Are you just singing? Award unlocked. Music enthusiast. Okay, that is a secret. That's hilarious. That was very weird. Okay, there's the next anchovy, guys. Oh, I barely... There's one more chovy, and he's all the way over here, V. Me? Damn it! Is it even possible to get over there from there, or do I have to go all the way around? Well, we'll find out. Yeah, I think I'm an idiot. We're gonna take the long route. We are taking the long route, everybody. The game tricked us. So we have to take the long route to get to that last guy. It's true. It's true! I saw the whole thing! But I really want to beat this game, because I love beating Spongebob games. They're so damn fun. Co second comment question, what's your favorite Spongebob video game? And tell me why. Mine is Lights, Camera, Pants, as I told you, I think, one or two episodes ago. Just because it's ridiculously fun. It's a good Mario Party clone that doesn't feel like... You know, a Mario Party ripoff. It, it feels like its own thing. Which is what I'm all about, is party games that are their own thing. And puzzle platformers. Collect-a-thon platformers. That was the slang term, I think from the 90s. It was just a, a 3D platformer when the whole job is to collect crap. And collect more crap. And collect more crap. And just collect crap. Collect all the anchovies. Collect all the socks. Collect all the jigsaw pieces. Collect all the stars. Collect all the shines. Collect all the blue coins. Collect all the Sly Cooper Thebius Raccoonuses. I'm also going to buy a PS3 soon. There's so many on, like, Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace right now. God! So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get a PS3 this year. My goal is, honestly, I have most of the consoles that I want. There's just a handful of them that I'm waiting to find one for the right price. And those being a PS3, a... Uh, what else am I getting? Uh, N-Gage... And if I can find a GameCube for super cheap, I'll buy a GameCube, but I have a Wii, like a really beat up Wii, that I can play GameCube games on. So that's what I'm going to primarily be playing GameCube games on, is my red Wii. So hopefully that thing works. Also, I fell down a YouTube rabbit hole yesterday, and I totally am, I, again, whenever I make fun of anybody on my internet show, everybody, please don't, like, harass that internet person. I don't condone that. I condone, like, saying, ha ha, funny, funny, funny joke, but I'm not gonna be adamantly, like, mad at somebody, because honestly, I don't have that many laps around the sun to be, like, harassing people. So, I'm just gonna point it out there. There's a, there's an internet store called DK Oldies, and over the last few days, like, like a month ago, I was actually tempted to buy something from them. Because they were advertised as like a, oh, we're a mom and pop shop, we care about games, we we take care of the games that we're selling to people. We care about you as a collector. We want you to have a good time. And it's been exposed recently that uh, people are buying refer... By the way, I'm just going to point out that they are ridiculously overpriced. I am going to defeat this person. Okay, now we now we can fight Big Joe. Come here, Big Joe. Come here, dude. But yeah, so basically, uh, they charge way over sticker price for uh, retro games. And it's usually stuff that they know they can get a big, big profit margin on. 
and 80% of the time you're not going to get it complete. You're going to get just the disc or just the cartridge, which for some consoles I'm totally okay with as a collector. Like if it's something that had a cardboard box to begin with, I'm definitely going to, you know, get a replica case or just deal with the fact that it's just a cartridge. That's totally cool with me. But what DK Oldies does is they'll like have really clickbaity shit that's like, oh, this is this is the this is where, this is like, what, okay, I don't know, I'm not even talking, I'm ranting right now. They're like, oh, this is the price of uh, Metroid Prime on the GameCube, and you're like, oh, sweet, that's a really expensive price, but okay. And then you click into it, and then it'll be like, oh, haha, that was actually the disc-only price. If you want it complete in box, that's way, way above sticker. And then you end up spending like 100 to $130 just to frickin' get one game. And their whole shtick was this like, oh, if you... Oh, I actually have to mash it again. Raise the sock. Raise the sock. Raise the sock. Yes. I love this song, too. Catchy as shit. But yeah, so basically... Damn it, do not say that word. So, what DK Oldies does is they not only charge way too much... But they've also had false advertising hit them from three different YouTubers. And again, I am not attacking the YouTubers who call them out, and I'm not attacking DK Oldies. But they advertise their consoles as refurbished, and a lot of YouTubers are calling them out on it because a lot of people are getting consoles that are not refurbished, they're not even cleaned, they're not hardly even tested, and they're charging five times the sticker for a game. Which is, again, it's one of those don't hate the player, hate the game kind of a things. So if someone did buy a game or a console for, you know, five times the sticker, I've been guilty of that. I've bought a game for over sticker before. In fact, Vince can tell the story about crap. Yeah, about crap. About the time that at Portland Retro, last year even, what is going on? There we go. When I spent way over sticker on a price on a copy of Banjo Tooie, because I really, really, really wanted it last year, and I wasn't able to find a copy at my mom and pops, and I wasn't able to find one on eBay for a reasonable price, so I saw one for sixty-five dollars and I jumped on it. That was my own damn fault, because literally twenty minutes later, Vince found a copy at another vendor's booth for forty dollars. Was that stupid of me? Yeah, it was. It was stupid of me. But it was my own damn fault that I didn't do research with other booths at the event, and I spent $25 more than Vince did on the exact same game. But with DK Oldies, uh, they can do whatever they want because they're a business, I guess. But it was still, again, my own damn fault. But it's the false advertising part that's the part that's pissing most people off. Because no one's going to spend $200 on a Wii or $300 on a PS3 when you can easily go to, like, Craigslist or Amazon Market... Or not Amazon, uh, Facebook Marketplace or Mercari or any of those freaking websites. You can easily get something for, like, a fifth of that price. So, I don't know. Again, it's don't hate the player, hate the game. I mean, his videos are funny. The DK Oldies team's videos are very, very charming. It's basically like, Bob placed an order. What did Bob get today? Bob bought SpongeBob Battle for Bikini at bottom. I love this game. Nice choice. I need a mailer. Since your order got picked to be filmed, I'm throwing in a SpongeBob keychain. That's basic. I just basically said every single TikTok that the DK Oldies crew has made. But again, it's, it's a decent, like, brainless watch the video kind of a deal. And I'm brainless when I watch uh, shorts and TikToks. I just want a fun video that can kill a little bit of my time. Usually about a subject I care about. And we are ascending to the sandcastle, which is also a reused asset. There's the last sock, everybody. What? I lied. Oh, great. She flew out of the level barrier. I don't know how I'm not getting hit, honestly. Wow. Oh, hey, Fred. Oh, 
Okay, Big Joe. Come on, Big Joe. Swing your shit. Okay. That sucked, Nate. What is going on? Okay, the sand castle is going to be a little bit tough, isn't it? Well, we're infiltrating the last part of this level. I would assume it's tough. That's Big Joe's right there. Okay, we're going to do the cheapo way. Oh, God. <sighs> Sorry for burping. Oh, that's why there's a spawner back here. Get a spawner. Spawner is destroyed. Hey, Big Joe, swing. That's a swing and a miss. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Big Joe. Okay, I got hit, but I don't care. And, of course, that was avoided. Oh, hey, he took damage from that. Nice. Nice. This is working a lot better. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, she's still stunned. There we go. Nice. Oh, no. It spawned a guy all the way up there. And I missed him. I miss you. I miss you. All right, let's talk to uh, Fred really quick. Is he complaining about his leg? No, he just says, ouch. Poor Fred. His poor leg. Ooh, more jelly. I honestly want to know what I do with the jelly. Alright. So it looks like there's a kicking puzzle on top of here. That's fine. No, not that button, Nate. That button. I don't know why I keep confusing the control scheme. That part's been kind of silly on my part. Ooh, more jelly. Was all of that just for uh, a few collectibles? Also, I totally missed a sock up here, but it looks like I have to take the entire long-ass route for one sock. That many... I can't believe it's not sponge. Huh. Nice, okay. I guess that's a, just an alternate route here. Oh shoot, oh, okay, woo. Looks like all that's in that boat is a big jelly, but I don't want the big jelly. I want the big baloney. And that's just another big jelly. I was expecting... My teeth are clicking a little bit. I was expecting there to be like a doubloon in one of these. But nope, it looks like primarily big jellies. Which is Spongebob's favorite. A Krabby Patty with jellyfish jelly. I call it a Krabby Patty with jellyfish jelly. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people, would you listen to me? I fell down the stairs. No ordinary stairs. Some stairs fell with jelly fish jelly. Hey, man, you got to try this sandwich. It's no ordinary sandwich. It's the tastiest sandwich in the sea. What is this? The inside that one termite temple from Banjo Kazooie. Nice. Pinza Rosa. I knew it, but why? Avashi, before you stand a notorious pirate captain, Pinza Rosa. I get it. Pinza, like Pinza Rosa, like red. I mean, share. So red claw. I mean, wait, no, yeah, I meant treasure that time. Boy, treasure. treasure. Right. Well, you seem deserving and present. Now, to share me treasure, you'll first have to get it out of an old shipwreck. It ran off course and hit some. Yeah, I've heard that song. 
And as this coming for you, lost on an island, lost at sea, shipwrecked your destiny. I'm far too rich to do a crewman's work. So I'm gonna hire you for minimum wage. Patrick, with that treasure, we can prove we're real pirates. Technically, you won't be though. I can't be bothered with the bureaucracy of registering a new crew or paying for them. Lol. Can we at least get real pirate names? No. Sure, why not? Oh, okay. Then we're ready. Sounds good. Okay, bang the drum is the next objective. I kind of beat this segment a little bit too easy. I thought that the this was going to be a little bit tougher. How to glide. So you glide, and when you hit a ring, I bet the ring's going to fill up. Yep, nice. Okay, I'm okay with that. Oh, and there's just a big jelly down there. Not worth it. Not worth it. Damn it, I hit the right trigger. Okay. There's a swing. Okay, good. And then we're supposed to swing into swing into glide. And we're supposed to clip this. Nice. Nice, nice. A strip of moldy bacon. Ew, gross. I'm just gonna blow up these tiki's. I don't care. I want the big money. Big money, big, big cash, money, cash. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Nice. This is like some super monkey ball ass shit. I love it. Sticky sweet. Okay, it looks like there's a hook over here that was hidden. God dang it, all the secret treasures I can't get. I bet there's a doubloon in here. Yeah, there is. God dang it. And the frames are dipping again. What is up with that, guys? So apparently we're going to learn a butt bomb ability, which is going to give us like 90% of the doubloons. Oh god. Alright guys, on the next installment of... Spongebob the Cosmic Shake. We are going to wrap up Pirate Goo Lagoon. Let's see how good it is. Let's see what happens. What's going to happen to Mr. Sponge? You will find out on the next installment of Spongebob Squarepants the Cosmic Shake. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next Rated R.